Good evening, Sunday the 4th of October 2020, this is the Democratic Alliance Labour Bulletin, thank you for joining me. We are going to discuss the update on the following topics, the Auditor General Kimi Makwetu, there is also an update on the occupation health and safety legislation, there is going to be some more regulations. Uh, effective from the 1st of October 2020. We're going to discuss a little bit about the Labour portfolio. It is starting to meet again next week. And there's a report from Statistics SA. This is Michael Bagram, the Democratic Alliance Labour spokesperson. Firstly, let's discuss the AG report, the Auditor General. It's a fantastic report. We're waiting for a final report, so this is just an initial report which has been made public, but it bears repeating. It's a very interesting report for everyone to know. They did an investigation after much crying and pleading from the public to investigate the Department of Employment and Labour, and in particular, the Unemployment Insurance Fund. And I read from the AG's report, just a short summary, and basically the figures I'm going to tell you about are estimates um, not down to the last cent, but I'm just for the purposes of this report giving you some of the input. The AG found there were overpayments of 85 million plus minus, underpayments of 250 million, triple payments of 600 million, non substantiation, no invoices, 480 million, further no invoices, 1.4 billion rand. They paid to dead people 450 million to prisoners who weren't working, 170 million, underage employees or underage people, 250 million, invalid IDs, 30 million, foreigners with no UIF contributions, 30 million, double dipping within the department itself. I mean, that's interesting, within the department itself. That is an unbelievable figure of 250 million. And at the end of the day, Kimi Makwetu is unfortunately coming to the end of his term of office. Let's hope that the next Auditor General will be just as circumspect, just as effective, and able to talk proof about these figures. They are able to talk to power, and they don't get any way, certainly in no way, do they get intimidated. So well done to Kimi Makwetu, the AG. I'm very proud of him, and let's hope that his successor is just as good. The committee itself, um, they, the Labour Portfolio Committee, they're going to be meeting this coming week. They're going to be discussing what they need to put on the agenda of this committee. Now you can well imagine that the powers that be don't want to put certain things on the agenda. They're not going to be very keen to discuss the AG's report. They're not going to be very keen to be asking the Minister of Employment and Labour to resign, fall in his own sword. This is probably the worst that you've ever seen of a minister in the South African government. It is probably the worst experience how he's let down the workforce. Obviously, this committee is controlled by the ruling party, and obviously we need to speak up as the Democratic Alliance. And then finally, I want to talk about Statistics SA. You would have seen that in this past week, Statistics SA came out with its new report of this next quarter. Uh, you would have remember that in the previous quarter, they said that about 3 million people had lost their jobs um, because of the lockdown, not because of COVID-19, but because of the lockdown. Now what's happened is statistics were late on their report. We all thought there was something wrong. Well, there was something wrong. It appears that they're understaffed, they're under-resourced, and I'm not sure what they're doing at Statistics SA, but they came out with a late report, and then they changed the way in which these statistics were going to be structured and the way they're going to report to the country. Now, this is a, a whitewash job, if ever there was, because they said, in fact, it had improved the employment situation. Well, when you look into it carefully, that's certainly not the case. And unfortunately, it sounds very much like what Mark Twain said, where you've got lies, damn lies, and statistics. 
The statistics were telling us that it improved a bit. Well, I can tell you now from my experience in my small labor law office, we are retrenching people hundreds every single day. I'm speaking to labor lawyers across the country who are all incredibly busy retrenching people. It's pretty sad, but that's the truth and we need to face the truth. And in particular, we would like to think that Statistics SA tell us the truth instead of fiddling around with the formula as to how they report those statistics. You can report anything. Statistics can be misused and I think in this instance they have been misused. I don't often agree with the trade union umbrella body Kasatu, but in this particular instance Kasatu said that we're over 50% unemployment in South Africa. They're saying in the youth category we're over 60% unemployment. That's probably closer to the truth and in fact I'm seeing that daily. Just to end off, I am getting still two to three hundred emails daily, but I must actually now praise the Acting Commissioner Bronkost, who is answering me on a daily basis and the money is starting to flow. So don't give up hope, let's keep fighting as the Democratic Alliance we undertake to have an oversight capacity stronger than ever, more invigorated than ever, we're going to go for them. So thank you very much for listening to us. This is Michael Bagram from the Democratic Alliance as the Labour spokesperson, Sunday the 4th of October 2020. Thank you very much.